This morning, the NTSB says Kobe Bryant's luxury helicopter was not equipped with critical safety technology, a terrain avoidance warning system, or TAWS. Terrain, terrain, pull up, pull up. TAWS is common on commercial aircraft, and for years, the NTSB has recommended it for large passenger helicopters. But the FAA has not ordered the change. Investigators say it may have helped prevent this crash. Certainly, TAWS could have helped to provide information to the pilot on what terrain uh, the, f the pilot was flying in. The chopper also did not have black boxes, a cockpit voice or flight data recorder that could have provided critical information about why the pilot crashed. On Tuesday, investigators removed pieces of the wreckage from this rugged hillside, as well as the final remains of the nine victims who lost their lives here. The coroner now identifies four of them, including Kobe Bryant and the pilot, 50-year-old Ara Zabayan, a veteran aviator and instructor who was certified for both visual and instrument flight rules. Jacob Chambers was one of his students. Ara was, was the most capable pilot. Uh, he, he was, there was nothing that he couldn't do. Um, he was extremely safe all the time, safety first. So why was he flying in potentially dangerous weather? As thick clouds and fog moved in Sunday morning, trouble came fast. Flight data indicates the chopper dropped 350 feet in just six seconds, making a quick left turn and accelerating, slamming into the hillside at 176 miles per hour. The question now, did Zabayan become disoriented in the clouds or was there a mechanical problem? Jennifer Hammondy is leading the NTSB investigation. Do you have any credible information that this helicopter was in distress before hitting the, the hill? We don't have credible information on that yet. Nothing's ruled out at this point? Nothing is ruled out.